this may not be the most thrilling driving experience just yet, but it could be the future of long distance trucking. This is a testing site for Einride. Already in commercial operation with one haulage company in Sweden, Einride builds remote controlled trucks, driven from afar from the comfort of an aerodynamic office chair. We just have to show the general population that the trucks are safer, a lot safer than the trucks that we have on the roads today. They will never get tired, they will never fall asleep. And the reality of today is that there's a shortage of truck drivers. If you're doing trucking, it's very, very hard to find drivers. It's hoped that some may find this less exhausting than life on the open highway. Now, from the point of view of a truck driver taking this job, instead of buckling up for a long day on the road, They'll just arrive to the office, drive the truck from here, perhaps go to the gym at lunchtime, and even at the end of the day if the truck was hundreds of kilometres away, they could be home in time for dinner. The trucks are fuelled by battery and operated via mobile data. So it sends out infrared beams, it measures the distance. The government right now restricts them to five kilometres per hour, so the trucking company already using them only does so at their own premises. Their actual top speed is still secret, but is already much closer to national traffic limits. Einride say the trucks can also keep the flow of goods moving during crises such as the coronavirus pandemic, while their remote drivers remain isolated. It's not an idea as yet fully embraced by Sweden's existing army of truckers here in the southern city of Malmö. I like my job. You meet many people, say hello, sometimes 60 stops a day. This thing can work in ports between ferry terminals, but the way we drive, I don't think so. It can make things easier when it works, but it's hard to replace a human being. I hope it doesn't force me into retirement anyway. I don't want things to change too fast. Border closures and reduced production have caused job losses in Sweden's trucking industry, but the lack of a lockdown has helped keep it rolling. Remote driving may be a vital addition, if not a replacement, for a system that keeps people and the economy alive. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Sandholt, Sweden.